is a judge of song. It's unspeakably wonderful, which was a phrase uttered by a 14-year-old girl a long time ago. The shortened version is she was one of the first humans to be treated with insulin, which was miraculously discovered by three gentlemen, and that's what the song's about. But tonight I want to dedicate to my daughter, who's also 14, and who was, despite being diagnosed at five, decided to join her cross-country high school team. And last Saturday were the championships for the local athletic league for the uh, 14 schools in those divisions. And I was watching the race, as nervous fathers always do. Luckily, I had a camera. And as they were coming out of the pack at the mile and a half marker halfway through, I saw a very familiar face in the front, the same stubborn, determined look on a 14-year-old girl. And I knew that everybody else was running for second place. And she ended up going on and winning the race for her team. So she's going to watch us at home. Good job, Allie. This is for her. It's unspeakably wonderful. I have something to say to those I can't repay for all that you've done for me. You will never know my face or what took place when my life was crashing. Though I know it can never be I wish I could thank the team They gave the life back to me After all, it's unspeakably wonderful It's unspeakably wonderful Every day that goes by She's happy and alive Is another gift for me She will never know the pain Of those who had the same Before your discovery Though I know it can never be I wish I could show the team The girl that gave back to me After all, she's unspeakably wonderful She's unspeakably wonderful And every day that goes by I get to see her bright blue eyes I know it's a memory that wouldn't be without you. And I know that after that day, we will never play. The fools who take life for granted I heard a wise man say Enjoy all your days Cause every day above ground is a good one And though I know they will never see Millions of voices can say it with me you're the reason we're here after all. Life is unspeakably wonderful. Life is unspeakably wonderful. Life is unspeakably wonderful. Thanks a lot, guys. K.J. Smith, everybody. K.J. Smith. Mr. Friedman. How are you? Wonderful. Great. That's where I spend my Friday nights. 
Or is you, the second Friday of every week? Oh, I'm sorry, the second Friday of night, Palo Alto. What is your, the fav your most favorite song that you've written? That one. That's my most personal. That one, um, that one really, um, it was just strange, because I know Bernie, Bernie Taupin, Elton John, he would write a whole bunch of lyrics, and then you would, you would which we're calling, uh, write music to it. And just the phrase, the phrase comes from a book called The Discovery of Insulin, and it tells a, a really incredible story. Um, they had discovered what they thought was going to work, insulin, and they had done on animal testing, but they had never done on human testing. And they went down to the local diabetes ward, found 50 children, and they started injecting them. And they had no idea if it was going to work or not, and all the children were in comas and, you know, hours from death. And when they got about halfway through, they heard screams at the other end of the uh, ward because, and they thought they was had toxic substance or something, but what happened were the diabetics were waking up, and these are people who have been in a coma for a long time, and just that phrase in that particular story has always stuck with me, and so it's the only time I've ever written something where I've said, I've got to get those words into it, so, yeah. but that one I like. And how touching to have it be directly associated with your, with your daughter. Yep. Yeah. So, thanks Thank again. You, KJ. Thanks again for having me. KJ Smith. And his performance, his, his confidence has just gotten so much better over the years. It's, it's so awesome to have him coming back. Uh, it's such an art form, isn't it?